dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to draft a cut together asymmetrical color pattern. Okay, on the picture attached is actually a full scale, but I want a half scale because I would like to attach a peplum to mine. So here is my half scale basic bodies block. So if you are here to watch our video on how to draft a half scale basic bodies block, I'll drop the link in the description box so you can go ahead and watch the videos for understanding. So here on my back block, I'm adapting this basic neckline depth to 0.5 inch instead of the one inch that was there before because we are working on the color. So we'll be using 0.5 inch depth. So after doing that, I will adapt this to a princess seam. The basic dart on the block, I will adapt it to a princess seam by connecting the midpoint of the armhole to the boss point on the front block and on the back block i'll connect the midpoint of the armhole to the dart apex okay so after doing that we'll go ahead and separate this block because we'll be working on the front block we don't need anything to do anymore on the back block so but before doing that i will mark my boss that i I forgot that so I'm going to mark my boss that because that is very very crucial then I'll go ahead and separate this block and then we'll move to the next step like I said if you are here to watch our video on how to draft a half scale basic bodies block the link is attached to the description box go ahead and watch Please ignore this first line. It was an error where I was trying to mark my chest line. So kindly ignore that first line. I've gone ahead to separate the block. This is my front block and this is the back block. So we'll cut the back block because we don't need to do any other alteration on the back block. We are only working on the front block. So I'm cutting out my back block. So if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button. Also click on the notification bell in order to get notification of our new video tutorial. So this is our back block. We put it aside. And here, I'll take another pattern paper, fold it into two. And then I'm going to create a margin of about 5 inch at the top and 4 inch at the center fold. Kindly drop your comment, drop your like if this video is helpful. Share the video. Make use of it and learn something new. So I've created a five inch extension at the top of the paper for me to be able to create my collar. And at the center fold, I'll create about four inch space. It's also meant for the collar. I'm trying to place my block on it to see if the folded paper is enough 
to occupy it. So I'm marking the space on both the upper part and the folded end of the paper for the creation of our color. So I'll place the front block on this folded paper, making sure that the center front is on the vertical line and the shoulder line on the block is on that first line I created. Then I'll trace it out. I'll pin it down and trace it out. So I'm tracing out the block on the folded paper. So I'll trace out each point on the block. So after tracing out, this is what we have. I'm, I've marked it out on both ends of the paper and then I'll cut it out. So this is what we'll be working on. So I have this traced out on both ends of the folded paper. So we'll be working on this one here at first. So when I open it up, I have it on both ends of the paper. Can you see? Because we'll be having different color on each end. So on this end of the pattern paper, Here, from the shoulder line, I'll come down by 6 inch. I'll mark 6 inch downwards, which is 3 inch from the end of the neckline depth. On that point, I'll move out I'll move out by 3 inch as well, 3 to 3.5 inch. So I'll move out like so. And then I'm going to connect that point and extend it towards the neckline width. So the extension above the shoulder line will be the back neckline measurement. So we'll pick the neck back pattern and measure the neckline on the back pattern like so. So I'll take measurement of the back neckline, as you have seen, and then I'll be extending this measurement above the shoulder line on the front pattern that we are working on. So we are creating different colors on both ends. So like I said earlier, you come down by six inch. I move out by three inch. And then I'll connect that three inch above to the neckline width and then extend it above the shoulder line by 3.5 inch, which is for the back neckline. So above the shoulder line, I'll mark the 3.5 inch for the back neckline.
make sure it matches your connection matches the neckline width while you are extending it above the shoulder line so here on this center fold i'll come down by three inch from the shoulder line and connect this to that point came down by three inch and then i'll connect it to this so i try i'm trying to measure the width of the collar that i have on that end and i'm okay with it it's three inch which is okay yours can be wider if you want so connecting it to this point and then i'll come to the shoulder extension which is for the back neckline and, and create the collar width of three inch so i'll mark three inch for the collar width like so and then i'll connect the collar width on both the upper and lower parts i'll connect it together with a slight curve like like this I want to appreciate all those that have subscribed to this channel. Thank you for your support. I need more of your support in the comment section. Like and share. Drop a comment. Thank you. So here is our collar on this end. So we'll come to the hem. And then from the center front, moving by one inch at the hem from the center front going by one inch and connect it to the end of the collar with a slanted line as shown so here we are done with this end of the pattern so we'll move to the other end so on this other end On the hem from the center front I will move out by one inch move out by one inch from center front from the shoulder line I'll come down by six inch and then on that point of the six inch I'll come in by two inch Then I'm going to blend that to the neckline width, extending it above the shoulder line by 3.5 inch for the back neckline. So I'll mark my 3.5 inch for the back neckline and connect it to that 2 inch that we earlier measured. Like so. Then I'll go ahead and create three inch collar width. First, I'll mark it straight like this, and then I'll move up by one inch on the end of the collar and blend it to the beginning of the width. Because the collar width is not going to be straight, it should be slanted like so. So now we'll be connecting the collar width to this end but before then we need to create the width of the collar on this end so we'll come here from the shoulder line i'll come down by four inch i'll come down by four inch and 
and then move out by one inch. Then I'll connect this point to this point like this. I'm trying to measure the color width and compare it to the other one. It should be about three inch, three to three point five inch is okay, but it depends on how wide you want it anyway. So I'm connecting this to this point. So I'll connect the collar width to the end of the collar with a slight curve as you have seen. So we are done with the collar for this other end as well. So I'll connect the end of the collar to the one inch at the hem. Like so. And then we are done. So here, I'll open up the folded paper and cut out my pattern. So when I open it up, I have this on this end and I have this on this other end. So I'll be cutting this out now. So this is how our, our pattern looks on both ends. So after closing the balls that we need to blend the side because them there will be little shifts on the side which you have to blend. So I'll close the balls that and blend that part. Then I'll cut it out. I'll go ahead and cut the other part of the pattern as well.
so here is our pattern and then we'll transfer to fabric transferring this to fabric this is the other the left pattern 0.5 inch seam allowance all around it okay while your fabric is unfold okay and also here while your fabric is unfold you're adding 0.5 inch on both ends so these are the center front for the two patterns adding 0.5 inch all around the pattern on the fabric so this is the side front one inch side seam allowance why 0.5 inch is added to the other part so this is this side back this is one inch side seam allowance 0.5 inch on the other part so that brings us to the end of today's tutorial this is the center bag 0.5 inch all around it while your fabric is unfold so i hope you will not want to miss the sewing part of this tutorial in the next video bye